If you're overwhelmed by all the choices on the shelves when it comes to oils, you are certainly not alone. And giant nutritionist Roxana Asani is joining us now live with which oils you should be using for every day in the kitchen. Good morning. Good morning. There's so many choices and there's more and more every day. Right, there's so many options on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people are asking me, what should I be using? And the first thing you need to know is what is oil and why is it important? So fat is really essential in our diet mm -hmm. and it's really helpful for uh, absorbing those fat soluble vitamins and is also really great for heart health. All right, so, so you have a little basket here with some descriptions. Yeah, so you can find fat in a lot of different yeah. products, and I just brought this here to okay. show you. So um, we're going to be talking about three different ones. So mm -hmm. we know that all fats are different. So here we have our polyunsaturated fats. Mm -hmm. And our polyunsaturated fats are essential in our diet. You may have heard of omega-6 and omega-3. They're right. the two different types. Um, and so you have sunflower, you have flax, and then what's this here on the end? And this is walnut oil. Okay, so, so why would you use those and when? So um, these are basically really great to use in salad dressings mm -hmm. or dips. Okay, okay, salad dressings and dips. Mm -hmm. And they're really great for heart health as well mm -hmm. as reducing inflammation in the body. All right, and then what's this over here? And then over here we have our monounsaturated mm -hmm. fats. And they are also really great for heart health. And you can use these instead of butter or margarine in some of your recipes. All right, so we're talking, this is the canola oil, mm -hmm. avocado oil. Let's see, olive is, oil. Olive oil. And peanut oil. And peanut oil. All mm -hmm. right, so which one would you want to use these for? So these are really great when it comes to everyday cooking. Okay. Sautéing, stir frying. So it doesn't really matter what you use for those. Yeah, so these are really great at high heat or mm -hmm. medium heat. Oh, high or medium. Okay, mm -hmm. and then here on the end. Yeah, so you may have noticed that these are actually all liquid at room temperature, right. while over here we have solid at room mm -hmm. temperature, and these are called our saturated fats. These are the things you bake with more. Yeah, so you kind of really want to limit them in your diet. Mm -hmm. Use less of them in your kitchen. Um, they are high in saturated fat, and diets high in saturated fat can increase total cholesterol. So again, we do want to limit them, not um, use them all the time. I guess where I get confused sometimes is when you're looking at like the canola oil and the corn oil mm -hmm. and then the coconut oil. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to figure out, well, which is the healthiest one to use? Right. So trying to stick to your liquid-based oils, they're, again, they're great for heart health, mm -hmm. reducing inflammation. So trying to use more of these liquid oils when you're cooking rather than the saturated fats. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah. Really appreciate it.